Morning. World. Morning. I did that zoom in. I did the zoom in. Cool. Yeah. You want to see something awesome? Because I'm showing it to you. Oh boy. Oh, watch the wall. I know. I can't go. Lord have mercy. Yeah, go towards me and I'll get the ivy. Ah, there it is. It's backwards. <laughs> it's strange whenever you're looking at yourself mm -hmm. and it's completely backwards. So, fresh from Hong Kong. Ivy C. We have ourselves a fancy pen. That's me reading it backwards. Uh, ivy C. Ivy C. East and Ivy. She's going up in our new office to be able to get even more attention than we already have. <laughs> it's kind of great. Oh, yes. Okay. Andrew, take this. <laughs> we just wanted to show our beautiful leg because we love it v much it looks great okay fantastic you know, love it yeah why I are did we good. little in the corner What's i don't happening? know it's like every Here. time it's technical difficulties oh, for our poor little oh there we are we technical difficulties so anyway happy monday people mm -hmm. how are you guys doing today wonderful i hope I know yes. we are. It was supposed to snow today. I don't see snow yet. I don't see snow yet either. It said it was supposed to snow yesterday as well. And it did not, in fact, We snow. had flurries Saturday? What day know. was there snow? There was snow one of these days. It was Saturday. I was at the home inspection. Saturday morning flurries. I do not recall any snowing. Yeah, it was early. Oh, yeah, I wasn't up. Between like yeah. 8 and 10. 8 and 9. Oh, anyway. That's lovely. It was cute, though. It was a cute <laughs> moment. It's very cold. It's very cold. <laughs> it's very cold. <laughs> Well, we can get right into it. We don't have a special guest for you today, so we're just going, well, Louis is not a special guest. He's here, literally. He's so special, <laughs> and he's a guest. <laughs> he's, no, he's here every he's day. He's here every day. <laughs> <laughs> we love Louis. He's our office dog. Mm -hmm. I wish Sunshine would come and be our office dog, but every time she gets here, she gets really upset. She actually hates it quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, without a big fluffy couch, she's just not into it. Yeah, too many heart surfaces It's for true. She's like, I'm a princess, didn't you know? <laughs> Anyway, so Monday. We don't have a special guest for you today, so we're just going to give you our little recap of how our lives went over the last week, which is some very interesting stuff, so you might want to stick around. Mm. Anywho, so Got Monday. Me sitting at the edge of my seat like, <laughs> ooh, what happened? What happened? Monday, what go. Was Monday? What was Monday for you, oh, Jennifer? Oh, gosh, I worked 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. on Monday and wasn't able, it wasn't a regular admin day. Like, I was just all over these streets on Monday, all over the place. Um, but still managed to work out twice. You, just, you had a bunch of showings, no? Yeah. yeah, yeah, four showings that were all about an hour and change away. Um, oh. Lots of calls on the road. Uh, Maryland, no judgment, but y'all's driving is because I had to pass through to stop and see somebody on my way back. Um, Maryland drivers are crazy. Are absolutely insane. Crazy. Yeah. So I think they think the same thing about Virginia. They think we can't drive. We think that they have a death wish. So well, no yeah. shade to you, Maryland lovers. <laughs> Virginia Just different. Lovers. Yeah, Virginia is for lovers. We drive like mm -hmm. we got some sense. Crazy. Uh, and then Monday for me, I had so last Sunday I went and had a last minute listing consultation from a listing that we had in a neighborhood, uh, and then we had photos done on Monday because the people lived literally perfect. There was nothing, Not yeah, nothing for us to do to it. So we had photos with shout out to Regarde. Thank you guys. Angel is my favorite. In fact, Angel, oh, Angel helped me put my sign in the yard. <laughs> He's like, do you need any help with your sign? I'm like, real life, yeah. <laughs> Please help me. I love Angel. Oh, yeah. morning, Kelly. Facts about know. Maryland drivers. We have, yeah. Yes, Maryland. <laughs> they are like on the racetracks all I'm the time. Saying, out there. Like weaving in, bobbing in and out of people. Yes. Out of control, man. I was like, get me back to Virginia ASAP. Thank God. Right. It was just like a quick stop and I got to get back to like where I'm supposed to be. True. <laughs> yeah. but, but the photos turned out beautifully true. because of course right. Regarde gets them back same day so we were able to yeah. get a listing up same day coming soon and oh boy do I got a coming soon story for you guys in this crazy market oh, as we roll along oh boy. Uh, don't scare <laughs> me and my 75 buyers right now God, uh, not necessarily will scare you but it is definitely a pro tip for all of you out there who have a little bit higher risk tolerance but Tuesday. <laughs> how did that? How did Tuesday go for you? Um, actually, Tuesdays are my new designated day off, so I drive down to Richmond mm -hmm. to work out with my coach and trainer. So I was able to do that. Worked out with sis. That was fun. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she's so strong. She is so strong. <laughs> it's funny. Like she stares at my legs, and I stare at her like core and arms. I'm like, I want that. And she's like, but I want that. And I'm like, Tracy's. <laughs> Everybody wants what they don't have. Not yes. that they can't have because you can have it. It's just going to take you a little bit more yeah. work, right? Lots of work. Well, yeah. Lots but of then work. I did um, a private showing um, actually that evening over here in Belmont. Super cute unit coming on the market. Wait, the one over the Cindy unit? 
Mm-mm. There's more? Mm-hmm. I'm so confused. There's so much going on in this neighborhood. <laughs> I'm like, what? She comes in the other day and is like, I'm in a homosexual. I'm like, what do you have under contract right now? Like, so in, the, in my mind, I'm like, where are you on the team meeting? Like, I totally told you no, about this woman. Well, no, she because ha- she has a lot of new construction under contracts, and mm-hmm. I was like, and that's where my head was. I was like, but what? Your new construction, you don't have the. They're not built yet, or yeah. some of them are, but it's yeah. like, so strange. That's funny. Yeah. But anyway, anyway what was you know, Tuesday. Say? Tuesday. So we are have a lot of new lead generation strategies in place for 2021, which is very um, fun for this team. So mm-hmm. it's training with Donna who is our brevity coach who I told her she was going to be my very best friend oh boy because she's only because she's going back to real estate full-time so she's going to be Aww. leaving brevity soon uh, in this capacity and just working on the real estate side of things yeah anyways I was like well over the next 45 days this you and I are about to be best friends I'm yeah. gonna see you multiple times that we just so we can get a handle on this so as I found out this morning and see my clapping yep. out the yep uh-huh. table. Uh-huh. <laughs> I and pointed out to her last week that when she's on camera she does this I slap the table a lot <laughs> Um, Antoinette says your hair is fire, Jennifer. Oh, oh thanks, yeah. Antoinette. This is called Didn't Do It. Whatever. I like it when she wears a hair curly. She never wears a curly, and it's so pretty when it's all fluffy and lion mane <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anyway, training with brevity. Yeah, training with brevity. So going through all of that and learning about all the different stuff. like, And what I learned is that we set all of our drip campaigns, so I apologize in advance, as I found out this morning. Marsha texts me and was like, yeah, I don't know who you are. And I'm like, Marsha, it's Nicole. I'm so sorry. My CRM texts you, and uh-huh. I don't. I didn't know it did, and I don't know why it did, because she's in, she's not a new client. I mean, we sold her house last year, mm-hmm. so I don't know what's triggering that. So if you get a random text from a number that was like, hey, I so saw you submitted your home valuation, you might want to assume it's us. <laughs> so, and just be like, hi, guys. Well, don't assume it's us. Shoot us a text and give us a call. And be like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> it could, it could oh, very well so. be our CRM, so apologies in advance. Yeah. Yeah. So Wednesday. That's cool though. Wednesday was my favorite day. What was Wednesday for you? It was for both of us. I know what Wednesday was. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> <being coy. laughs> oh, what else happened before we jump into the fun stuff? Oh, yeah. 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 I'm talking about the same stuff you're talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was my favorite Except day. she bamboozled me into something that I had no idea I was yeah. actually going to have to like do-do. So you know that we love Bel- We live, love Belmont Bay, everything Belmont mm-hmm. Bay. And so we have a lot of really cool opportunity mm-hmm. that is coming into our neighborhood. And there, it's almost like, it's a, in a way it feels like a political divide. You have folks in here who are convinced that it's going to ruin Belmont Bay and that we don't need further development and we don't need parks and parking lots and that's all they're focusing on but what they're not recognizing is the fact that these parks and parking lots is a trade with the county for them to be able to further develop and give us restaurants and you know uh, water access and additional resources in this neighborhood that's going to drastically increase our home value so we were sitting on a meeting on Tuesday night um, disappointed in the reaction from some of the community and so we asked Jay if we could which Jay who's the chief development officer through the development company who's going to be working in this neighborhood and so we sat with Jay and asked him to film a video so we were here for probably about two hours doing a video with our boys at HD Bros shout out to you guys you're incredible mm-hmm. Jacob um, down in Richmond Jacob down in Richmond uh, and we shot a, an informational video showing the different parts of the community of where they plan on developing and what this actually means and some of the misconceptions and all that so that's in post-production now and should be released in the next few days which mm-hmm. is super exciting stuff but Jen will tell you about how I've been boozled her <laughs> Well, Jen is non-confrontational and is the peacekeeper, and I don't like to get in between, like, two opposing sides, right? So here I am, sitting behind the camera, uh, having to talk about, you know, everything great that's coming to Belmont. Um, But in my mind, I'm like, oh, God, some people are going to hate us for this, but somebody are going to love us. Ah." Anyway. Um, that was the bamboos I was talking about. What were oh. you talking about? Oh, the fact that you didn't know you were doing it. You felt I just needed your camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there, yeah, then there's that. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh, this is like a whole thing. Got oh, it. Yeah, we got a production company here in the whole nine mm-hmm. yards. Because we're going to be putting ourselves out there. It's at least going to be professionally done and not on an iPhone. Yeah. Which was the original consideration. It was fun, though, so... And I don't, I mean, we, we are on the side of Belmont Bay. We want to see our homeowners' yeah. values go up. We want to see the additional walkability in this neighborhood, but with no means are we trying to destroy this neighborhood. Oh, but we no. would love to see Belmont be 
turned into the original plan that it was back whenever this place was originally built. They mm -hmm. were promised conference centers mm -hmm. and public restaurants and boat launches and, and all of this stuff. But now all we have, and it's still a beautiful community and we love it, yeah. but now all we have is a marina, a failed restaurant, and a failed yeah. golf course. Well, see, that's the part of it that I don't understand the other side of the argument, right, of them not wanting Belmont to be ruined. Mm -hmm. Most of these people who feel this way are original owners, and when they moved knew. in, you were promised these things, right. and now it's actually coming to fruition. And you're, you're trying to stop it? I, I'm confused. I don't get it. I don't either. I guess they're just setting their ways with it. You know, yeah. they got used to what the community's turned into, so right. I don't know. She is what Whoa! she Oh no, what I'm have you done? done? I was just, yeah. I was, oh, I was just making mm -hmm. sure. I don't know how to work yeah. that thing. Yeah. Com computers. Anyway, so Wednesday was my favorite day, and then Thursday rolls around. Another one of my favorite moments for the week. Thursday. Yeah. What'd well, you get on Thursday, Jen? This was on Wednesday. What? Wednesday? I know, but I said, but then we rolled into Thursday. This wasn't on Wednesday. We didn't have our team meeting on Wednesday. Oh! We had to move it to do, do the inauguration. This <laughs> I won an award! Yeah. Millennial, 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 millennial. <laughs> So Nicole surprised Will and I with 2020 um, Eastern Awards. Ivy Awards. Yeah. So mine is presented to moi, Jennifer Lynch, for the year of 2020 with 100% of sales goal achieved and 1,000% sales increase. It's backwards. I don't know why I'm zooming in. No, it's not backwards. But, oh, they can see They can it see it properly. <gasps> How yeah. That it shines bright like a diamond, just like Jennifer. Bright like a diamond. <laughs> Had no idea. Um, first of all, super impressed that you were able to keep a secret. I know. Uh, it's been sitting in the house. <laughs> it's kind of great. Okay. okay. And Will. <laughs> and Will, who got most improved in sales with 4,238% increase. See, and his lights up because of space. <laughs> So Love we thought that. it was like, Angie and I were talking about this, and we, you know, even though we're a small team now, we are growing, and so yeah. we wanted to start this off by saying, like, we are super proud. Like, I am super proud of the agents that you guys have become, and we have to be able to acknowledge milestones. And what better way than millennial, 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 we have pretty awards to give out. So <laughs> that was fun. So fun. Yeah, I was like, why Thursday? I'm so used to the meeting being on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, uh, Vicky says, congratulations, Jennifer. Thank mm. you. Oh, and Kelly says, I've been waiting on Belmont to get the restaurants and shops. I heard that that's what's supposed to be there whenever I moved here in 2012. Exactly. Coming, girl. Yeah, it is coming as long Finally. as we don't get blocked with the county. Yeah. So my, my biggest frustration with all of this stuff is it's like, there's some people who are, have very strong opinions and they're like, well, we're the voice of the community. And so the last, the last meeting that we were on, we're like, you're not the voice of the community. You are mm -hmm. the voice of the subsect of the community that you believe that this is the right way forward. There's a lot of us. There's a whole lot of us who are on the other side of this. Yeah. So there has to be a way to, for us to come together. Like, I know, I mean, we can't do it politically, but I feel like if for our community's sake, can we just, like, I, there's a lot of misinformation. Ugh, anyway, <laughs> I could, I, you'll see the video whenever it gets released. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Vicky says, congratulations, Will. Will, if you're watching, Yay. Vicky says, congratulations. <laughs> I don't know where that lives. That's um, fun. Yeah, so. But also Thursday, I met with a, a buyer and a seller. Mm-hmm. And in talking to one of our preferred lenders, uh, was reminded about recasting a loan. Like, oh yeah, for somebody who not everybody to can sell do it. their property. But, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so the thought is to sell her unit. Excuse me, buy her new place, mm -hmm. sell her unit, and then with those proceeds, recast the loan so she could Absolutely. make a large payment towards principal. Mm -hmm. um, the proceeds of that. Yeah. Didn't even mm -hmm. think about it. Like, so I was talking about all these other different options she can do, and then mm -hmm. we're talking to Kelly. She was like, yeah, and then there's this. And I was like, duh. Duh. Yeah, so agents out there, remember that recasting is a thing, especially if you have, like, in our community, I would say uh, uh, around half of our condos around here are just paid off because mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's downsizing and everything. So they sold their big house over in Fairfax Station. They purchased a condo cash. And so now they have all this money and, and occasionally they want to move, which is kind of the situation that happened here. Yeah. So now her unit is paid off. She has all this money that's wrapped up in the unit. And you could just buy and then recast that loan later on. Mm -hmm. So your payment is where you actually desire, but you can buy non-contingent, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So good stuff. Good, good stuff. Um, Thursday, I also had an hour-long conversation with shout-out to Justin. You are the, the man. All I've been thinking about is 
<laughs> development and future possibilities. And oh boy. <laughs> don't worry, boo. I'm going to call you this week and see if we can get some time to actually sit down so we can, de can develop a plan going forward. I'm very excited about our potential future. Um, but yeah, Friday. I don't... Yeah, Friday. What was Friday for you? It was Friday. Uh, Friday I visited, uh, oh, early morning down to Dumfries, visited to a listing and check on some contracting work, mm -hmm. and then Friday turned into my Monday admin day. So I was in here from 10.30 to 2.30, straight up behind the computer, going ham. <laughs> That's fine. It wasn't. <laughs> think that's what I did Friday. I looked at my calendar and I didn't have anything in there. I was like, there's a lot of stuff that happened. So mm. I don't know if this is the day I actually ratified Liberty or not, but this is what I was going to tell we you about. We were sitting here because I was here. Uh -huh. we were there. was here. The entire day. Literally the entire day. Warehouse. Wasn't warehouse stuff getting done warehouse Friday? Warehouse Friday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then we went over, God help, this warehouse is a disaster. We couldn't turn it over to Q in this capacity. So mm. Andrew, me and Q went over there for the late last half of the day and cleaned it up. But this is, I was also, this is the day I'm also choosing to talk about Liberty. I think it was actually ratified on Thursday, but we're going to talk about it today. So you remember that earlier on Monday, whenever I told you guys that I had a last minute listing appointment on Sunday, then photos on Monday, and we had it coming soon? I had three offers on this thing that were well over asking price, sight unseen, waving everything. Oh, yes. so this is the part where I was going to tell you, like, NAR is re releasing statistics saying that this is probably going to be the best year ever to sell a home. Ever. In the history of ever to sell a home. And then you've got I'm like, not breathing. I know. So it's like, this is great, except for nationally, we're 40% down in listings. Yep. So this is creating a huge Annoying. challenge. Fire. But the 11 Liberty Knowles, we had multiple offers. And, and I'm, I do not allow people, once it's incoming sin status, I do not allow people to go into this house because it's illegal and I'm not about to get fined or lose my yeah, license over this. Like, it. hear me. Um, what did Kelly say? It's a perfect backdrop with Belmont being mm -hmm. in the water. Agreed, agreed. Back to Belmont. But. Anyways, and so I do not allow people to go in this house. And so whenever 33 was released, it is a beautiful home. You've got a, you've got a home theater in the basement. You've got a bar in the basement. You've got every upgrade imaginable. The kitchen is beautiful. It's open to the main concept. You've got a huge deck with stairs to the back. You've got a retention pond in the back. Like, it's beautiful. House is beautiful. And it shows in the photos. And so sure enough, we had the, um, the ultimate offer that took it. They waived almost everything. And they haven't, like, and, and granted, this is their fourth house, the reason why we were a little bit more comfortable with this mm. because the fourth house is that they purchased sight on the yeah. and, uh, okay. and so it's not, it's not a big deal. But the last one that we did this, which was also 11 Liberty Dolls, the first time the buyers got to see it was during their home inspection. Wow. And that was a week later, and so everything was moving along. We got through those contingency periods and all that jazz. But if you're, if you're honest about the condition of the home yeah. and then you have these conversations, like, there's no surprises there. Mm -hmm. So... What did she say? Did you say a bar in the basement? Yes, honey. It was, and it's a winner. It's a beautiful bar. Um, it's a beautiful house. Oh, and now we're shaking. Anyway, so you as a buyer's agent, Jen, with her 1400 and not everybody's risk tolerance <laughs> right. is, I've got a is lot of capable, first time buyers right right, capable of doing this. But if you start, like, I think Will had to write 11 contracts before he finally mm -hmm. got one accepted. They had to start yeah. writing sight unseen because that's yeah. the nature of the beast that we're in right now. Yeah. People are dropping everything whenever it comes to... Doing, and there's no showings, and it works out a little bit in the favor of the the seller, only because like you don't have to have people traipsing through yeah. your house with with these COVID cases on the rise. So, yeah. it's the craziest market in the world to be a buyer right now. I feel for you guys, and it makes me want to cry for you. But to you be just a, have to have patience. you just have to have patience, yeah. and don't get emotionally and attached confidence. to anything, yeah, and money because you need to pay your own closing costs because you're not getting any closing costs in this market. I was able to do it once last year. And we, well, we got under contract last year and it was just like a fluke for some mm -hmm. reason. Um, you know, mm -hmm. it's, anyway, this market is insane. I love you guys. And I hope to God that everyone is staying sane out there, yeah. um, agents and buyers alike. But if you're yeah. a seller and you're thinking about selling, now is the time, guys. Yeah. Yeah, no, never a better time. Woof. Woof so, is right. <laughs> yeah, so Saturday. <laughs> Oh, uh, early morning home inspection for me. That's the one that I screamed at her, and I'm like, what do you have under contract? <laughs> she got an off-market opportunity, because that's what you have to do in these markets. Yeah. It was somewhat was something that had expired or was uh, or something. Off. So it was listed yeah. back in December. The seller <laughs> knew that it was going to sell, like, ASAP, and they needed to move, and they didn't want to feel rushed to have to find something, so they pulled a temp off. To come back after the new year so uh, i just reached out to the agent was like yeah this is a situation you guys need to rent back because you need to move cool. all right we my can, buyers we'll give you whatever lease. you want <laughs> like we're good so the stars align for that one 
Um, really clean house though. Home inspection went really well. Good. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that today. Oh. Um, and then rental listing photos. Uh, got a new one over off the of Quixote Court. Quixote! Quixote! <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. House is gorgeous. Uh -huh. Just gorgeous. Um, so we're going to rent that baby at 3000 a month in Woodbridge. Two oh, car garage, wow. four beds, three and a half bath, two bonus rooms in the basement. This is the guy with the fancy oven. cars. This is the man with the cars <laughs> and the mini businesses. Cool as hell. <laughs> Talk to this cat and he's basically just like telling me how successful and amazing he is, right? This dude is 31 years old, living yeah. like he has lived a whole life and some. I well, was like, I'm gonna have. put you in the face! Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's like talking to Justin and talking about these kids who did the development of the apartment complex and they're mm -hmm. 24, 25, and 27. Mm -hmm. Like, man, if I yeah. would have had the knowledge I have now in my mid-20s, where... Yikes, you just sounded like my mom. Where could we have been? Yeah. You know, just yeah. bananas. But we have it now and we have more resources to do something about it. True so story. Not even mad. True story, More yeah. so yeah. just like in awe, you know? Yeah. Love it. Yeah. And then the gym, of course, and then mm. watching the UFC fights. Oh yeah, Saturday, Saturday was night. yeah Saturday night was UFC fights. Uh, it was good. Yeah, Saturday for me, I went shopping for Vicky. So you guys might have uh, seen my pic the picture that I posted yeah, yesterday. So Vicky, cute. I love her. She's one of my very first <laughs> real estate clients, like back whenever I was at Long and Foster, and I love her and her family to pieces. And so she asked me to come over. A lot, and like, let's hear. Did you say that? Wait, no, she's right here. Yeah, she's I coming. Was I was like, this, yeah, Vicky. this Vicky. Yeah, this Vicky. <laughs> uh, so I went over there and was able to to help her, like to take a look at her new office space. Like, she had the back of her basement converted into an actual private office. And mm -hmm. so she bought, she had already bought the furniture, but nothing else. Mm -hmm. And so I went on Saturday and just bought all the different accessories and stuff. And oh, then we yeah. have the, the, we did the first install on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, Saturday I bought everything and we did the first install on Sunday. And then the lights and um, her new chair comes in over the next couple of weeks. Which nice. is exciting stuff. Yeah, it's super pretty. Yeah. And I bought a dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah. So shout out to Super. My dishwasher stopped working oh, 17, months, 17 ago. months ago, right? <laughs> but I never called them. And so they came not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before they came. And then they said that basically the motherboard was shot. There was nothing that we can do about this. So they gave me three options. They either said you could have a Home Depot gift card for X amount of money. You could take a payout, like a cash payout for X amount of money or you could just wait for us to fix it. So I love Home Depot and I get a military discount there. So <laughs> I went to Home Depot and bought myself a new fancy pants dishwasher with the super money and a little bit extra because I figured out there's a very big difference between $400 dishwasher and an $1,100 dishwasher. I did not buy an $1,100 dishwasher, okay, but I did. I like, Lord, no, but I wheel. did learn all the things. We have three racks and it's adjustable with a stainless steel inside and it's super quiet and basically it's a spaceship. I'm very excited about it. So that was... <laughs> It'll be here on Thursday. No, yeah. what? Life is good. Oh, be, yeah, to be excited about being an adult. You know. <laughs> and then Saturday night was a fight, which was fun. Yeah. And a little cooked butter chicken. Man, it was good. <laughs> it's just chicken with butter. Butter. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. And then Sunday. Sunday. I went and worked out in D.C. with Andrew. Andrew. Oh, that was glorious. Packed my breakfast. So then we had breakfast and coffee together. Um, sorry, phone ringing. Um, and then lots and lots of errands on my way back to Virginia. And then she didn't take a picture of Scooby, and I'm very upset. Her mother oh, has yeah. the cutest doodle in the entire world. I saw Scoobs. He's so big. Yeah. Oh my god, I can still pick him up though. Um, but he's a big boy. <laughs> um, yeah, stopped by, saw Dad. He's so excited that he's got a ring doorbell now. Ooh, ooh, so hot, Jack. Um, Stop by an open house to preview a property for a client who expressed some interest. Um, <laughs> that house is not fun. Oh, this is when you're screaming about bamboozled. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. it's a, a realtor with two investment like partners. So they bought it and flipped it themselves. They just didn't do a good job. Lipstick it. on a GD pig. Whoop. Just, and I gave him honest feedback. Uh -huh. Honestly. Look. 
But anyway, so needless to say, she went by also after. I told uh, her I would step by first um, while I was over that way. And then I waited for her feedback before I dug in on it. She was like, yeah, no, this, this won't work for me. And then she went on rattling about all the things. I was like, praise God, because honey. And I just explained everything to her. I was like, great. Well, now that I know what you love and what you really hate, I feel totally comfortable making the judgment for you. Like making that call when we see something like, nope, this won't work. You no, know? Not at all. So I always make sure to do that with my buyers. Like I want to see them react to something positively, and then I want to see them react to something really negatively. So right. I know like where, where I am. Are. Yeah, yeah, where I can gauge. Good. But yeah, so it's fun. What did Vicky say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love them. Oh, it was just Sunday. Sunday, I went over to um, again whenever we were at Long and Foster, one of the condos that I sold. Military family. They moved to Boston, and now they moved to. Uh, Florida, and they want to get rid of the, the rental unit here. Oh. They're like never tired there, so I went over there in the morning just to check it out and develop a game plan. Yeah, nice. where's this one? Kingston. Yeah, that's one Island Creek. What I was telling you about Island Creek. Oh, I actually, oh, actually yeah, yeah. lay eyes on it. Okay. Too, they redid the kitchen since I sold it to them. They redid the kitchen and the bathroom. Gotcha. So I went over there. It's lovely. I got um, nice. got a photo of the yeah. kitchen. Okay. So yeah, cute let me house. See that. Okay, She's talking about renting until she gets like acclimated to come from Florida. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see. Big budget. Big budget. What you have for? <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah. So we'll I went to go see that and then I went over to Vicky's to do the install and then we went over to Gigi's and learned how to play poker. We Aww. played poker from, and so I haven't played poker in 15 years. Like when I was in the military I actually did sit on, sit in and came number two in a hold'em tournament uh, and then I got over it because we were sitting at the table for eight hours and I was like I'm <laughs> so done. I mean, we were sitting at Jesus for five hours last night playing. We didn't get home until 11.30. We started at 7, 8, 9, 10, 4, four and a half hours. Um, but poker's fun, man. And she taught us a whole bunch of games. So that was my evening yesterday mm -hmm. with a poker, poker adventure. Good. No more messing up your nails with your new dishwasher. I, I, all my nails came off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What happens? Oh. You can't like I. I'm a. It's a struggle, man. Yeah. Mm. What was your week highlight? Probably interviewing Jay. I really like just because like to me that mm. felt like the greater good of doing something for our community that I so desperately believe in and want to see. So it was yeah. like being able to dispel misinformation is mm. was my highlight. Yeah. What was your? Um. I felt really good about being able to contact some of my buyers throughout the week with like coming soon opportunities to tell them about. Um, so just really being clued into other agents, what they've got going on, off market opportunities, and mm -hmm. trying to like make those connections and plug people in. Um, it was cool seeing their response to yeah. it. Like, oh wow, awesome. You know, that's <laughs> that is one of the nice things about being super good friends with a lot of people in our in our industry is because like you start to see the same faces and the same mm -hmm. names pop up in different communities so if you have a specific buyer reach out to them first like yeah. Delara knows that we work in certain areas a lot so she's she's texted me probably once a week she's like what you got and I always yeah. tell her and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't yeah. but um, it's um it's and then cool. even if they don't have something it gets their so break on like oh no but such and such does mm -hmm. so it's just who you work with matters yeah who you work with matters mm -hmm. never has mattered more in the history of ever yeah what about a learning moment for you? Um, two life-changing things. One, poker, because <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like it's so it's so much fun for me. Um, because I like I I do I don't like to gamble even though know, that's gambling. Mm -hmm. But it's like if you're I mean, I'm not going to sit at the table and have like a thousand dollar buy-in. But if I'm play, yeah. playing with like twenty bucks or something, like it's really a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so being able to be spun back up on poker and then my life-changing moment that has now changed my life for the good. Did you know, thank you Donna for teaching me this, that you can pin tabs on Chrome. So your most frequently used tabs that you're always constantly having open, mm -hmm. if you double click, like the one, it's like do the two touch on mm -hmm. your thing, you can pin. So I'm gonna show you. So you go up here, so it's like, I have this up here. I double click and then you can hit pin. And whenever you hit pin, it goes over here and it never goes away. So I have my calendar, I have my inbox, I have the drive, like, Command, DocuSign, and face, and Facebook, because those are the things that I always have open all the time. Yeah. So I just have them pinned, so anytime you open any browser in Chrome, those are automatically going to pop nice. up, and they're already logged in. So I like that. it's amazing, and yeah. they go really small, so you don't have to eat up your yeah, bar with everything that. else, for sure. Cute. Anyway, 
What about you? What about you, learning opportunity? Uh, just remind you to take care of tenants and landlords as if they're million dollar buyers. Because they turn into million dollar buyers. <laughs> Should do. I was like, you're dealing with somebody <laughs> in McLean right now who is potentially a million yeah. dollar buyer. Exciting Four stuff. years ago, I wow. put these people into a rental, forty five hundred dollar monthly rent. Four years ago. Wow. Yep, they did a long term lease. <laughs> and now what they're Are these the people that came out of Georgia? No. God, what state did they come from? What's seven one four area code? Seven one four, seven one four. Oh, I'm drawing a blank. They weren't Georgia though. Um they came from Georgia. I remember they randomly called in on one of my, because I was working with Vern, I was doing all of his leads whenever we, your brand new agent was along with Foster, and mm -hmm. I was like, here, you, can you take these, like, can you work these people? No, that was, no, no, they're in Florida now. Oh, um, they moved, so. Yeah, they, when they were here, they ended up going into Maryland. Gotcha. Um, and then they were down in Florida, um, and Wifey is actually a realtor down there now. No kidding. Uh -huh. So cute. Uh -huh. Good for her. Um, but no, these were actually, now that I think about it, these were a Zillow lead. Solid. Yeah, <laughs> a rental Zillow lead wow. from four years ago. You can't do rentals on Zillow anymore now that they're a brokerage without paying, yeah. I think. You can get I a boatload that. of rental leads, though. If you have a rental listing, oh, yeah. I'll tell you, my it's rental obnoxious. listings, I'm getting like four or five leads every day wow. on these properties. It's crazy. Kelly says 714 is California. Okay. Oh, and she said, just don't pin your favorite stores. LOL is dangerous. Ooh, wow. Truth. Pro tip. Right. Kelly, can we do a, she says, she also says, poker is fun. I'm no professional, but it's lots of fun. Can we do a poker night at your house? Because that would be the most fun. Like, legit Absolutely. put it on the books. Absolutely. Oh, God. She's already going to start planning it. Done. Expect an Evite. Right. By the end of business today. <laughs> I'm Queen planner over it. there. I love yeah. it. Well, what was your favorite lunch? It's oh, my God. Of, it's I one love of six things. <laughs> rice cakes and peanut butter. So rice cakes and peanut butter was my most favorite meal that I could eat last mm. week and this, this week. I was going to say, did you change the meals at all or are you still yeah, the same ones? It's, yeah, it's um, lesser. So he's, like, cutting now. What? I got it. So I was allowed three rice cakes and two tablespoons of peanut butter last week. This week is two rice cakes, but I still get two <laughs> tablespoons of peanut butter, which is perfect because the jiff has the little to-go pouches, uh -huh, and, and it's two, two tablespoons. Oh, that's And, nice. like, when I tell you, like, after breakfast with Drew yesterday, I packed my little snack, and I was, like, licking that <laughs> container clean, and I'm, like, he's probably judging me, but this is all I get for peanut butter, so I have to savor every moment every morsel i love pb oh she says absolutely i'm actually looking for a poker and pool table and Done. and and i'll wait for the and, and. <laughs> one of those little bumper pool tables mm -hmm. will and i were talking about that last night as you house it was like getting a turning the basement into a gym slash poker room yeah <laughs> it would be fun oh god that means more things coming in the house or out Gotta go. <laughs> more things coming out the house uh, what was your favorite lunch um I, we went to Bertucci's yesterday and had mm -hmm. uh, the Sporky Pizza, which is my favorite. Sporky? I love. Yeah, it has ricotta. So it's ricotta oh. and mm -hmm. it's like Italian sausage. It's so freaking good. Love. Yeah. So went over there. I went to Best mm -hmm. Buy and then we went to Bertucci's afterwards. It was delicious. Mm. Let's hear Kelly. Mm -hmm. Great gatherings in Gainesville. Is Great Gatherings still open? I don't know. I don't, hmm. I don't know if they oh. are. I don't know if they still are. They used to be, but then they went through this whole like they shut down a lot of Great Gatherings. You know, COVID. So, anyway, okay. well, I have 10.30 calls starting. So I beautiful. All right. Well, it's 10.30 on the dot. We love you, beautiful people. Thank you for sitting with us. We uh, love you so much. Have Bye. a happy rest of your week. <laughs> Bye.